So I asked you guys to give me a challenge on BitLife because it's been a while since we played BitLife. And of course, everyone said to do the David's mom challenge, okay? Do you want me to get more emails? David's mom is going to send her army out. She's going to go code red, code K, code Karen. This is the ultimate sin, BitLife, which started it all. I am now going to be David's mom. All right, here's the rules. And this is by Rylan Laura, the one that did the amazing David song. The David's mom challenge. This should make her mad. Oh, it will. Trust me. Be a girl. Go through school, stupid. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're calling me stupid or <laughs> I, okay go through I guess we have to be stupid the entire time okay ooh that's straight up roasting her have no looks your whole life oh man drop out of school at 16 get married have kids neglect them <laughs> divorce your husband live the rest of your life lonely and gamble all of your money away I mean they all basically said pretty much the same thing I want to read another one too by Ray S ruin other people's jobs make your son stressed <laughs> Don't forget to get backups because you were you alone can do nothing. Hate bit life. Can we make our character do that? Don't forget to do them droogs. All right, well, that should be simple enough. Be horrible. Got it. Oh, wow. I got another heirloom. What did I get this time? The family basketball. You think David played with this? It's worth $10. Wow, the family basketball. <laughs> uh, we are David's mom. First name David, last name mom. It's not gonna make any sense. I was born a female in Denver, United States. I was conceived after my mom visited the cockpit mid flights are you sure you weren't conceived in he double hockey sticks okay because you the devil posted. i was conceived after my mom visited the cockpit mid flight it is a note if my father was the pilot or co-pilot okay my mother is asia mom <laughs> My father is unknown. See, where's the dad? We don't know. I mean, no, that's our dad. We have a dog named Steven. All right, so I think we should also add that we ha we need to have a horrible childhood because usually when people grow up to be horrible parents, usually do not have good childhoods because, you know, that's all. They take what they know and they apply it to their children. So let's be horrible. One of the things was be ugly, right? I'm sure. <laughs> well, we've already done that. We are ugly. Or we're kind of smart, but, you know, hopefully we can change that. Maybe we can, like, bang our head against the wall or something, you know? Ooh, what is that? Is a witch doctor? Oh, man. <laughs> David's mom would not like that. The cops are going to come after me now. <laughs> Break, they break through the door. Hold it right there. You playing bit life. Ah. Oh no, I have tonsillitis. It would be a shame if I didn't treat that. I hope we don't. Oh, we have asthma too. David's mom's got asthma. Oh man, our looks are bad. They're getting ugly. Wow, what a shame, David's mom. Oh, Steven. Okay. I yelled at, because we're horrible. I yelled at my dog that was whining at me. He didn't, it did not work very well because, you know. That's, the, that's that's how life goes. You can't just yell at everything and send angry emails to everything, okay? You can't send angry emails to dogs. They can't read. Oh, uh, see, now he's dead. See what happens when you act up? Oh, no, now we're depressed. Okay. Well, this is not a good time to have kids. Your half-brother, Pat, has asked you to come to a cricket match. Argue with him. Why? Because we're horrible. <laughs> okay, I just we can't die, though. That's the thing. We need to try not to die. What the? <laughs> I'm 14 years old. I can't wait to see what kind of cool videos have been recorded on the camcorder I found in my mom's underwear drawer. David's mom right now. What is that? What, is, what did it just say? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. <coughs> Trying to practice it now, you know? <laughs> I imagine that's all we say in school. Uh, the. What does this mean? The. No leaning? <coughs> Better than Chai. <laughs> okay, we, we, we graduated high school, so apparently we're not that stupid. Oh, I'm supposed to drop out. You think David's mom has a job? <laughs> I would imagine maybe someone that has time to send emails to people all day probably is on welfare. It's like assistance from the government. Some people actually really in need it, but a lot of people do abuse it. So I'm going to guess that that's what's happening. All right, well, who's going to be the lucky man? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, it's Stalky Stalkerson. I keep forgetting that he's in this game. I keep forgetting to take Stalky out. That's probably something David's mom would be into, so let's ask him on a date. Ouch! She did, he rejected me. Okay, well, you know, I don't have a lot going for me, clearly. All right? I'm gonna assault my bald mother. Take that, you peon! Why is my mom bald anyway? Oh my god. <laughs> so I tried to get with Carlos over here. He informs you that he knows a personal trainer and would be happy to introduce you should you ever decide to get in shape? You gotta lay back for that one, like... Oh, oh no, 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 no. 
<laughs> you did not just say that to David's mom right now. Like, what the heck? What? That is like the most polite bird I've ever seen. Savage. That's the savage right there. Okay, like, will anyone date me? I need. Oh, purpose, Dockerson. Oh, yes. Oh, of course. No, oh, my God. He, okay, what did he say? He reminds you that there are billions of fish in the sea. And that there must be at least a few sucker fish willing to date. I've never seen roasting as bad as I have right now in BitLife. What is it about David's mom? It's like the developers of BitLife have coded it in there. If you ever name your child, or if you ever name your, if you ever name your character David's mom, the game will just self-destruct. It's like all the defenses are going up. BitLife is throwing all the insults. Like this is a pretty bad lie. I'm unemployed. I'm broke. My, I'm gonna, I'm sick. I'm not happy. I look ugly, but I'm sort of smart. But if I were if I were actually smart, then none of this would be happening to me. Look, we need to have kids. So I guess we're just going to have to uh, resort to a hookup because that's probably all we're going to get. All right, come on. Somebody. Colt Boozer, sure. <laughs> okay, obviously we can't use protection, all right? Because we need a baby. All right. I hope you feel good about yourself. All my our happiness went up. <laughs> kind of sad if you think about it. The hookup actually boosted our confidence a little bit. And oh, so we're no longer suffering from depression. That's all we needed. Okay, we have not got preggers yet. We need, we have not gotten preggers yet. So we gotta keep going, I guess. We need to bring David into the world. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> A young man named Hello Neighbor asks if you'd like to go skinny dipping with him. If this actually works and we become, oh my God, this would be the best. Not with Hello Neighbor. Come on. <laughs> and thus David was born. <laughs> it turns out this entire time, David. Where's the kid from Hello Neighbor? It all makes sense. Actually, it doesn't make sense at all, but it's just really funny. That's if it's a boy. No, it's a girl, dang it. Wait, didn't David have a sister? That explains why the sister's evil, okay? Now that actually does make a lot more sense. Only the neighbor's kid could be evil. Wait, what did I name her? <laughs> David's neighbor. What the heck? I think I typed with I, I typed without even thinking about it. Holy crap. I'm <laughs> moving day. A couple of friends asked for help moving into their new house. What will you do? Unfriend them. I'm gonna send a harshly worded email to them telling them why I don't want to help them move. Hello, ex friend i would just like to let you know that i will not be helping you why you ask because one time i went into your house and do you know what i saw i seen that you let your kids watch sesame <laughs> street i am now un Friending you because I would never let let my David watch such a demonic television show. Why? Because there are cookies in there, and cookies make people fat, and that is not. The example that I would like to set for my little, little David Schnuggums. Please dive. <laughs> A little excessive there, yeah. Uh, she would send something along the lines of that. That's probably how that went. And that's why we couldn't help them move. Vaccination. <laughs> I laugh in the face of vaccinations. All right, well, we had David's sister who I named David's neighbor for some freaking reason. I don't know what's wrong with me. Hey, there we go. Come on, David. No, <laughs> we're not supposed to be having so many girls. Uh-oh, gonorrhea. But I'll keep the baby. Come on, be a boy. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. And thus, after like 15 one night stands, we have David. Listen up, David, if you're watching this, it's obviously not a true story, okay? This is bit life, okay? <laughs> David in the closet. <laughs> Just think about that. David is in some closet right now watching this if he's lucky. If he can, if he, if he can get away from his poor mom. All right, so now we got three kids and our only job is to neglect them. Go to the store and buy some Skittles for me. Uh -huh. I don't know if the day I don't know if David's mom's that kind of mom, but you know, I'm just thinking of poor parents Well, we definitely don't want to give them a, a, a gift of any kind You know that would actually bring a little bit of happiness, but we have age six David's neighbor, which is our other child We're going to insult her. She's six years old. That's right. You called your daughter David's a crow to what? Ooh. 
That's freaking horrible. She's six years old. Oh, <laughs> baby daddy, David's mom. <laughs> oh, oh, which one is it? Huh? Which one is this one? Huh? Oh, man, I better put my lipstick on. My baby daddy's texting me. Your baby daddy, Jimmy, just sent you a picture of his latest sex. Oh, Ooh. send him a text back. <laughs> I'll match you up. You sent him a scantily clad pic. The heck, you, you, you and your brother are... Pat are quarreling about Myla Kuna's eyes. Let's rumble with them. Oh God, try me again. You charged your half brother, Pat. You whipped his fist. Okay, I, that would be so horrible if we died right there. Oh, we have to neglect David Moore. I, okay, I'm trying to get married, but no one will have us. I can't say I blame them. Sending all these emails, you know. Andre Mitchell says, you seem like bad news. Oh man, he's not wrong though. Employment, your bald mother is pressuring you to get a job. She says, you must be lazy and I like your successful brother who got a job. What will you do? Argue with her. Shut, you shut your mouth. I'm sending you an email, mother. What's your email address? <laughs> Hello, mother. <laughs> My daughter Paula started elementary school. Oh, she better not be watching that beat you, Mike. We're gonna insult her just in case. You dimwits. Why is David's mom like this? Like, that's so messed up. Like, why she gotta be like this? This is clearly true. Oh, we gotta sue someone. Because you know David's mom would sue anyone for anything, okay? It's time to get some money. We, I mean, we need some money. So we gotta be horrible and just sue everyone. Oh, no luck. I can't think of anyone to sue right now. Oh, dang it. Man, I really hope David's mom never goes to see how many people download a bit life. She will just blow up. We need to sue somebody. Let's keep insulting our daughters. <laughs> you hoochie. You and your half-brother Pat are feuding about which season is the best. Let's scuffle with him. You cracked his nose. Oh, he called the cops on me. No, David. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, this was kind of inevitable that she would go to jail. What, me going to jail? That's it. I'm writing a letter to the cops. <laughs> That'll teach him. So what if I hit my brother? Emails fix everything. Well, we're broke is a joke, so I gotta go public, de public defender. And of course, we're guilty. And now we're in prison. Let's just cry. <laughs> you wept like a widow while waiting in line for the shower. The other inmates all laughed at you. I will email every single one of you. You give me your emails right now. Okay, we've been released from prison. After all, it was only for one year. What happened to our poor kid? Kids. I'm home, David. What are these gifts? I would never give my child Super Mario Maker 2. Train color pencil set? That could be sharp. Batman's Nuggie? Bats are vulgar creatures. My mother, my bald mother's still getting on to me about the job. Argue with her. And I'm gonna blame everyone too. It's everyone else's fault that I don't have a job. I'm $66,000 in debt. I really need a sugar daddy. Oh my god, someone actually dated us! Alexander Koenig. Oh, who's the lucky guy? He's got no smarts, no money. He's, he's not that crazy. He's a mail carrier. <laughs> Who would have known? David's dad is a mail carrier. Okay. But that's not his dad. <laughs> that's not how this works. Well, I mean, we kind of already, you know, that ship has already sailed. So what does it matter? <laughs> All right, sure. We're just going to have more kids that I'm going to neglect. You know what we should do? Ask our son for money. David, you got money. Say, like, no, you took it all away from me. It's too bad we can't just uh, gift like a phone or something like that. Can we actually do something like that? Like a cell phone? That way we can just take it away? <laughs> I call them a pumpkin head. That is quite the insult. What, Paula Begay? While, while relaxing after a long day, you catch your daughter Paula trying to sneak back into the house after sneaking out. I knew it. So many emails or ideas are in my head. This must be the work of Beach, you Mike. He must have told my kids to sneak out and defy me. You are grounded into the basement. I lost the sound. I don't know what happened to the sound. I grounded her for 12 days. 12 days in the dungeon. <laughs> oh my God. We're getting ready to just croak and die. Like we're, leave, leave. We've lived a horrible, horrible life. I'm just gonna straight up adopt one of my babies out. You're up for adoption. Have a good life, idiot. That's what happens when you try to sneak out. Oh! Oh! You don't even want to know what we call David. I like how, like, even though we send all these emails, we're actually horrible. So, like, we're not practicing what we preach, you know? Alexander wants to propose to me. Oh, my God. He must see how amazing I actually am. I'm such a good mother. Oh, my God. Your son David passed away at the age of 14. He died in a fatal bus crash. Oh, my God. He must have snuck out because he was scared to death and he died in a- Oh my god. <laughs> Dear bus company, I am furious. I see how this doesn't really work too well. It's like she should be furious, but-
<laughs> She's mad at something, okay? Dear bus company, you killed my source of income. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. David's mom, what the heck? That was my welfare. And now that the little runt is dead, I can't buy my packs of cigarettes. I will be speaking to your manager. All right. Guys, right now, leave an RIP for David. I did not expect him to die in a car crash, but he did it to get away from the mom. Stop David's mom. Hashtag. It's so sad. Today's scrub of the day goes to... Kitten with issue. 